Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. perspective that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards well, let's flip it over to the defensive side they now have the advantage three three yard gains that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down that's what you're looking for when you're playing defense three yards on that last carry here's second and seven Mayfield now. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. it back five that makes it second and ten from the shotgun it's Mayfield it's caught by OBJ and he's going to have another first down here as the tackles made at the Cowboys 45 yard line give him 14 on that one and a first down and the Browns first down So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Mayfield off the play fake. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Go over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Yeah. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And again, it's Mayfield. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Complete. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. First down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. At the four-yard line. First and goal from just inside the five. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That false start costly. Moves him back to the nine now, first and goal. the penalty chub and he stopped immediately there they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal no gain on the play as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there on second and goal mayfield that's complete right around the eight and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass to Austin Hooper. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Austin, Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Austin Seibert to kick off for Cleveland. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 70 yards. And the Cowboys are now just an extra point away from moving out in front.
They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. They got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. So they go the conservative route instead, and it gets them a 7-6 lead here in the opening quarter. Great Zerline to kick off four down. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around 25. Actually, it's 26 officially. So, a net gain of one there. The Browns drive about to get started. Drive by the Cowboys. Counting on 
off a of one play drive that have been so deflating to the defense. What's their mentality? How do they rally here, here at South Bay Softball? It's remaining in the second quarter. to do that. 
yards into the end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 at their own 23 yard line the Dallas offense here set to begin the drive they have the lead now they'll be looking to extend that lead and this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Third and three. Let's make these babies cry all the way. Let's make these babies cry all the way. Here's Elliott. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. He's been busy. A gain of three, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Second down now. It's Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And six. Draw play. Elliott. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Larry Ogunjobi. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force no of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. They'll run four with Pollard. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. On 
first and ten, Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. Pass the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. This will be caught just inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Back now in Arlington. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. now how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal a field goal would give them the late lead from the gun Mayfield and that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown to number 27 Kareem Hunt there to make the grab and the Browns have retaken the lead the Browns well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for but after going through the progressions it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. 21, Cowboys 14. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Their own 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 77 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards, and go, oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. And an important one that is, as we are tied now early in this fourth quarter. 21 apiece. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. 
Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third down, Mayfield. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. It's a an gain excellent 35. gain, 35 and yards. First down. <laughs> On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And it's complete. Hooper. The 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Austin Hooper. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Steps away to his left. His pass caught at the four. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Mayfield finding Odell Beckham with a touchdown pass. And the Browns have moved Austin out in front. On for the point hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practice the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Now this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game. The play action pass could very well be open. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Going to run again here with Pollard. Going at 
absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Off the edge, it's Tyrone Crawford with a sack. Second down. job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20. play fake mayfield steps away incomplete and we're down to eight seconds now he was trying to get it to his tight end david njoku but now it'll be third down on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's got Hooper on the short connection, and he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it. Chubb. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Today's final score. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Big D.